my name is Stephanie Hernandez. I'm an animal caretaker here in the herpetology department and you are watching OKC Zoo at Two. I'm originally from California and my parents have always supported my love for animals. I would literally bring animals home from the streets and they would let me keep them, <laughs> at least temporarily till they could rehome them, such as cats and dogs and stuff like that. Didn't bring home a tarantula, I found ones. So I've always had a love for animals. And then in college, I took a herpetology class and I fell in love with reptiles. Since then, I pursued a career in zoology and here I am, now in Oklahoma. I start out at seven in the morning here. Uh, first thing we do is head checks. So depending on the day, I might be doing a lot of feeding or soaking, but we do do enrichment here just on a regular basis. It can be maybe a special food item animals don't get too often, or it can just be maybe we provide a scent trail for one of our snakes. So we actually do conservation work here at the zoo, and we actually have a lot of endangered species in the herpetology department. So. I would say the most rewarding part is knowing we're taking care of a species that's um, endangered. I had the opportunity to go to Guatemala with uh, my curator, Brad Locke, and he runs a conservation project out there helping uh, Bronia and the Guatemalan beaded lizard, uh, who are both endangered. And a lot of the work isn't just about restoring the habitat. Uh, people don't realize that we can plant all the trees we want, but if we don't educate or learn why these trees are being cut down, we're just gonna keep doing the same battle. So they have developed a program out there to actually educate the people and find out why they're needing to cut all these trees down. So while in Guatemala, my curator actually had doubts that we'd be able to find an abronia because they're very secretive lizards and they live high up in the trees and they hide in this uh, moss. So it's really hard to find them, but we did spend a couple hours out with the with some of the people he works with out there and we were able to find one which was really exciting because it took us about five hours to find one lizard. Being out there in the field gives you more of a sense of what we're doing here and how we're actually helping support these kind of things. This job means you know that I'm providing a chance for people to come and experience wildlife by walking through our buildings. They can kind of get a sense of what is out in the world and maybe hopefully they might want to help um, whether it's helping with recycling or just having a smaller carbon footprint because every little bit counts so as long as people come here and they maybe leave with a hope that you know we can make a difference you know we might actually be able to I have a little frog. He's really old, he's retired, he's off exhibit now. His name is Yoda and he's a white tree frog. And he's in the back off exhibit because he has special needs. He can't see, he has cataracts in both eyes, but we still provide his vet care and everything. Thanks for watching, OKZ Sua 2. Keeping Oklahoma connected during our closure.